Hello friends and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified of new uploads. In this video, we'll be getting to know how to find uh, stuff in Windows in general. So in future videos, we'll be exploring how to find stuff within an application such as let's say Excel or maybe Microsoft Excel. But here, we'll be learning how to find stuff within Windows in general, okay, within the Windows OS. Okay, so the first one is finding a software or application. So as you know, a software is an application, is a program. And uh, let's just say you have a desktop either maybe at home or in the office and uh, you have there's so much stuff installed in it and you're looking for a specific program or application. So to find it, one is one way of doing that is to type the name or even a part of the name of that software in your Windows search field. So let's just say, let's make it simple. I'm looking for an application called um, maybe Notepad, maybe. So when I click on the, when I type in the Windows search field, which is beside the Windows start button, just even typing note and OTE, it brings up possible candidate applications. Like in this case, you see Notepad++, you see Notepad, you see sticky notes. So it is showing you the, the possible applications that are matching the first few letters that you have typed. So let's just say I'm interested in this one, Notepad. Okay, so you can find an installed application, especially the standard ones, which are Windows built-in ones very easily in this manner. Okay, let's just try another one. Let's just say I'm, I'm looking for something, maybe calculator. So even just um, typing the first few letters, C-A-L-C, it will bring up the candidate applications that are matching the first few letters that I'm typing right now. So it even displays LibreOffice Calc, which also matches the letters which I have entered so far. So let's just say I'm interested in launching calculator. So I will click that and then it opens up for me. Same thing, if I'm looking for maybe Word or WordPad, I would type Word in the Windows search field and the same thing happens. It will um, show me the possible applications or software that are matching my search criteria. Now, in just in case, for some strange reason, you are typing it here uh, in the Windows search field, you're typing the name of the application and somehow it could not be found for some strange reason. That could happen, um, especially if basically it, the software is not a standard Windows application. It's something you just installed on your own and it was not in, installed in the standard way, meaning it uh, the path of the executable was not saved in the path parameter, environment variable of, I mean, environment variable of Windows, then it may not be found. So in case that's the scenario, you're looking for a program for software, but it could not be found in this technique we are, I'm showing you right now. The other way is to, Again, in the window search field, you just type on something else, add or remove. So when I type even just add, it's already bring up the one that I'm looking for. So I'm looking for this one, add or remove programs. So you click on that and it will launch uh, this. And in here, actually there is a, by default, there's an alphabetic listing of the installed applications in your machine. So if you scroll down a bit, you'll already see an alphabetical listing of the applications installed. So you, I know it's by default, by alphabetically arranged by name because it's shown here, sort by name. Okay, and then so it is alphabetical, not just alphabetical, but ASCII, ASCII, meaning so the number precedes the ordering of A, B, C, D, et cetera. So let's just say, since it's alphabetical, uh, you should know where where roughly to locate the application you're looking for. Example, if it's calculator somewhere, just a little bit down, right? So it's already here. 
So, but in any in in cases where in you have a very long list of applications, uh, so many applications were installed on your machine, and it's taking you some time to uh, to comb through it, to browse and look for it. So you can just easily type the application name or a part of it in this search field over here. So again, let's just say I'll make it simple. I'm looking for um, calc calculator. So when I type even just the first few letters of the word, it will already bring up the candidate application that I'm looking for. And it found this one. Okay, I can open it. No, I cannot open, but I can have, because I'm in a different window, here you can do an uninstall or things like that. But these are the two ways that you could find an application. There could be more, but the first one is typing it directly in the Windows search field. The second is here, when you do add or remove. But at this uh, location here, you cannot launch the application, but you can, at least you can find it. If you're looking for your um, thinking, was it lost? Is it lost? Was it uninstalled? At least if you see it here, you can be sure that it's still installed because you see that it has that um, option of uninstalling it. Okay, so that is number one, which is finding a software or application. Second is finding a file. So to find a file, you need to open File Explorer. So there are two ways of, at least two ways of um, opening File Explorer. One is you right click on the Windows button and then you click on File Explorer. That will launch it. The other is doing, which is the quickest probably, is doing a key combination of Windows key plus the letter E, E for Explorer. Okay, so I will do that. I close this and then I'll do while the Windows key is pressed, I will press letter E and it will do the same thing. So this is the quickest way of launching your Fire Explorer. And again, this, what are, we're gonna be learning now is how to look for a file. In the good old days, Windows had its own file, find file utility, and you would use the key combination of Windows F that was before. Now, you don't need that. You can directly look for the file you're looking for right in the confines of File Explorer. So just a, a word of caution, when you're looking for a file in File Explorer, exercise caution, I mean um, prudence, because you see there are many folders in a file system in Windows, and over time you will have a buildup of files and folders. The file, the folder structure will just become deeper and deeper and more complicated over the years. Just, it's just the nature of it. So meaning, if you're looking for a file and if you will look for it from the root, meaning drive C, example, drive C, I will look for it here. See here on your right side of the file explorer, you will see the search field. So this is where you will search, you will type the file name or part of the file name or file name pattern of the file you're looking for. So I'm saying if you will search for that file at the very root, meaning at drive C, it will take you a much, much longer time. It will take Windows much, a much, much longer time to look for the file because it is navigating through so many files and trying to find a match with the search string you have provided it. So let's just give you a demo on that. I will look for a file. I'm not even giving the whole file name. I don't need the extension. I can, just to make it simple, I can just provide, uh, okay, what I type is doc with comments, doc with comments. Okay, when I do, when I press my enter, so Windows is now trying to search for that file. And as you can see, it's taking much, much longer time than you would expect it to um, take, isn't it? 
That's because it's starting the search right from the very root of drive C, and it goes through each and every folder and subfolder that it passes, that it passes uh, through. That's why. So I'm gonna stop this by clicking the X because it's taking so much time. So the prudent way of looking for a file is to know roughly, roughly where the file could be located. So in my case, I know I'm looking for a demo file. So I will probably look for it in this folder, C demo, which in DOS is C colon backslash demo. There could be some folders here. There are some folders here, but it gives me comfort that it could be, it's highly likely that the file I'm looking for is in one of these folders here. It may have a sub, sub, sub folder, but anyway, it will be somewhere here. So again, I will look for the same file, click, uh, type it on the in the search field. So I'm looking for a file called doc with comments. Press enter, and it's very quick. Why? Because uh, even though it's not really a C demo, um, it is. it was found very quickly because it was a shallower, if you can imagine, a shallower search rather than a deep search starting from uh, the root of drive C. Okay, so that is uh, a learning point when you're trying to find a file in Windows or in any operating system for that matter, even Unix or Linux. So if you were to find a file, it's, it's a good idea to start somewhere near make the search a bit, uh, I mean, uh, not so broad. You narrow down your search into something instead of searching it at the very root of drive C, okay? Yeah, so um, there you have it. Um, I hope we learned something new. We've learned something new from this video, um, finding stuff in Windows. And the first thing we did was finding or learned it was finding a software or application. And there are two ways that we looked at, looked into one is typing the application name in the Windows search field. That is this. And the other way is going to the add or remove Windows or settings screen, which will not necessarily give you um, the ability to launch it from here, but at least it gives you the assurance that the application you're looking for is really there or not with, with uh, certainty, okay? Because this is a full listing of whatever is installed on your machine. And the second we've learned is finding files. And a bit of history, I've mentioned that in the old days, there was a find file utility in Windows, which is exclusively used for finding files. But nowadays we're just using File Explorer and you will just type in the file name or a part of the file you're looking for in the search field here. And you can even use uh, patterns in Windows and in DOS. The wildcard character is the asterisk. But Windows made it a bit more flexible that even though I don't even need to put in any uh, wildcard, it's able to find um, matches. But word of caution is that if you will do your search beginning from the very root or very, very far from the actual location of the file and it navigates through a labyrinth of so many files and folders, then it will be a much, much slower and painful searching process for you. And so the you can meet halfway by can um, by going to uh, starting your search, starting to do your search at a folder location, which is already, it is not so deep, which is not at the very root, meaning it's already a bit close, or at least it's not too far away from the file you're looking for. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, I hope you learned something from this. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I do suggest you subscribe and I'll be seeing you in the next video.